Hey everyone, really quickly wanted to give a little disclaimer to skip. There is a timestamp below. However, I do recommend listening through at least once to have a better understanding of how tarot works. So how does tarot work? Tarot is meant as a guidance tool to help one see what may come and with intent be able to shift the energy to be more in favor. Please be mindful that all the messages on YouTube are for a general audience. They won't resonate every single time. I like to say if it's in the title, it's in the message. For information on the energy cleanse kits that I offer, the tarot course I've created, extended versions to the readings or the events that I will be attending, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Cancer's weekly guidance message for January 3rd through January 9th. And in this message, Cancer, we are first going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We'll look at what's challenging this, and we'll see what's to come if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice, guidance moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So, Cancer, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy for January 3rd. Through January 9th, please and thank you. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. What does Cancer need to see? Cancer. The energy surrounding you this week is I feel like your guard is up towards a specific person now. I feel like this is a husband or um, relationship person. Okay. But for some of you, this could be a father figure. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. This is a person of authority with the emperor energy. Now, Cancer. I feel here you're trying to work things out with this person. You're trying to work together to come to a common solution on a common ground, a resolution for whatever challenge that this person keeps bringing up. But I feel like there's something that this person isn't telling you, Cancer. And what I feel is if you stay in this energy, it's just going to be a lot of fighting, a lot of back and forth, a lot of bickering. We'll pull a few cards here for the energy, but if you can see on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. This is the energy of walking away, okay? Taking what you need and moving forward. So let's clarify the energy now. If you find the message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. We're going to start with the seven of wands, six of cups, emperor energy here for cancer energy surrounding. Please and thank you spirit. Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Two of Wands, okay? Some of you may have already walked away from this situation. This person is causing disruptions in your life or they wouldn't coming up, they wouldn't be coming up here in this reading. I feel like you're trying to come to a resolution for the problem. You're trying to be cordial. You're trying to work together. But I feel here there's always a problem. 
and it's because there's something going on that this person isn't speaking on okay they very well could be having money problems nine of pentacles in the reverse trust your intuition when it comes to this cancer because i feel like what you are offering the resolution that you're coming up with is acceptable it is acceptable okay but what i feel here is this person is being difficult okay i feel here this person is trying to grasp at straws to be honest love you honest with you trying to get your attention you're being called to trust your intuition in this situation and if this person doesn't want to accept your offer then that's what it is let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward here cancer thank you guys again for all the love and support for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing so cancer let's see your advice guidance moving forward for january 3rd through january 9th Ace of Swords, Lovers, Energy with the Seven of Swords. So you're needing to look at the situation honestly, okay, with a clear vision um, because this person is not being completely honest with you. Seven of Swords energy is an energy of deception. It's an energy of sneaking around, hiding. I feel here, Cancer, that if you just open your eyes and look at the situation a little bit more clearly, you're going to understand why the cards are telling you it's time to walk away. Let's pull your blessing message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Your blessing message here, Cancer, is don't take anything personally. See other people as they are. When you see other people as they are without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if others lie to you, it is okay. They are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.